Okay, everybody, how you doing? It's Saturday night here. Got a little project to do. I picked up a, uh, a Mossberg 500 shotgun. Got what I thought was a really good deal on it. It needs a, it needs a couple little things. Uh, it's in great shape. It's a 2010 model. It's a, uh, it's a Hunter model. It's got the, uh, the 24-inch slug rifled barrel on it. Picatinny rail up here. Uh, it's got the cheek rest on the on the stock. But one thing I noticed is the safety is not functioning properly. What's wrong with it is it has no retention at all. It works. I mean, if you put it in safe, now this has been checked, it's clear. I do promise that. When the safety's on, the trigger is inert. And when the safety's off, it will fire. However, it will not stay in place. I decided to go to Brownells and picked up the Mossberg 500 598 metal safety kit. Um, as some of you may be aware that this button is plastic. So we're going to change that out for a metal one, put all new parts. It comes with everything you need to replace this whole upper part of the safety. So with that, let's uh, get into this project and uh, we got to tear the gun down and install the safety. It's really not hard and I'm sure you can follow me through it. All right, here we go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to, uh, on camera, we'll check it for safety. We'll open the action. As you see, there's no, there's no shells in there. Isn't that a great sound? That is wonderful. This little thing right here, you see it moving in there? That's the safety. It makes contact with this arm right here and prevents the and prevents the uh, the hammer from being released. Let's get these parts out of the way. So we got a nice clean work area to work with. Now, the roughest part about changing the safety is going to be removing the screw that holds it in. Because if you take a look at the screw, I don't know if I can get a good zoom on it. It is a one-way safety screw, which means that you're not supposed to be able to get them off of there. Half of the screw is ground off so that you can tighten it but the screwdriver will just slip loosening it. However, if you're careful you can do it. I recommend a good uh, good gunsmithing screws and we'll apply just the right amount of pressure and very slowly we will get a bite on it. I promise you, we will get it off of there. Okay, if you get one that f just barely fits in the hole, you can get a grip on it. Okay, so that's going to unscrew, unscrew it from the metal piece down there. All right, there we go. This is the only thing that does not come with the metal safety kit. You have to buy this one separately, and I'm glad I didn't because it's an expensive little piece. All right, so the safety, as I said, bolts up there, and it meets up with the, uh, with the trigger group. So what happens underneath is this little piece hangs down, and when the safeties, as you see right there is the red dot, there's the spring in the hole. Um, so when it's back, it moves back over this peg right here. And this peg, when you pull the trigger, lifts up and allows the hammer to come forward. Not 
sure why there's a green paint on there, but it's coming off now. So when you engage the safety, it goes over top and it will not let this thing lift up. And then when you disengage the safety, it moves back off of it and allows it to move freely. So that's how the, that's how the safety works. It's pretty simple in design, but it's effective and it works. And it just rides right up there in the slot. I mean, the slot's just right through. There's, there's really nothing to it. So there's already a spring down in there. We're going to replace that. So we're going to pick that out of there. I'll just use this Q-tip again. And there it is. Okay, we'll put that in the spare parts bin along with the rest of the safety parts. That's really all I needed was a ball. I'm going to dry the, there's some oil and funk down in here. We're going to clean that out of there. All right, let's open up the new parts. Now you can buy these parts uh, on Brownells separately. So I could have just bought a ball. I could have took this all apart and just bought a ball for it. But I kind of wanted the metal safety. I'm kind of a proponent of metal parts over some of the polymer ones. There's a new spring. There's a new detent plate. There's a new ball. There's the metal button, and there's a new screw. So that's what you get. Yep, just like this, ladies and gentlemen. So we will place that right, right there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna figure out something ingenious here to hold my safety into place so I'm gonna stuff a rag down in there Let's see if we can get it to yes there we go I'll hold it good enough okay so we put the uh, we put the spring down in there we're gonna put the gun upright I'm hoping we're still on camera. Now, here comes the fun part. spray plate down just like so slide the button over it looks like we need three hands to do this Okay, so safety's all the way back. Now we just got to get the screw in there. And screw it in. I can feel it threading in there. If I can get a steady enough pitch. Sorry, Bob. All right. 
Now, we will fit that screw all the way in there and tighten it up. And it is tight. And that snapped into place, snapped into place. That's exactly what we wanted to see in here. Now we have a metal safety. For anybody who's not a complete idiot out there in the gun world, which I know there's probably a lot, and some of you are going to be calling me one too, for the way I just did that. When we reassemble the gun, we need to check it for function. Do not check it with live ammunition. Please wait till you get to the range. Okay? That would be bad. Because we do have to pull the trigger, folks. Let's check our... Let's rack that slide. Trigger. Safety is on. Trigger will not pull. Safety is off. Trigger pulls. There we go. We successfully installed a new safety or repaired the old one. That's all she takes. Thanks for watching.